Howdy Art Stoners, I'm Doc Awesome, and today we're going to do a little druid. This is a deck I like to call the Rude Druid. And the reason he's so rude is because this deck is all about taunt. Creatures with taunt have to be attacked by the opponent. And so we have every big, thick taunt in here, along with lots of creatures that give taunt, and lots of creatures that become tough to deal with if they have taunt. The basic idea behind this deck is you'll keep throwing down big nasty taunts that your opponent will have to waste cards, resources, and spells on so that he can bust through and hit you in the face. He's going to kill a lot of your minions and it's going to be hard to keep anything on the board but eventually you're going to throw down something so big that he won't have anything left to deal with it and that's when you crush him. The deck handles like your basic ramp druid. You got two innervates, two wild growths to help you accelerate and get your big minions on the board faster. And that's really important in this deck because we do not have a lot of early game. You've got a couple of rats, a sun fury protector, and a druid of the flame to deal with the early game. We also have a pint sized summoner to help us get uh, our big creatures on the board faster. We have two swipes, the big board clear for the druid. We have one chill wind yeti, one of the most solid minions in the game. Becomes even more of a threat if you throw a mark of the wild on it. We also have two defenders of Argus. These are our big taunt givers because they give taunt to two creatures and give them a buff as well. You put this guy between a yeti and a spectral knight and your opponent's got a difficult puzzle to deal with. We also have two Keepers of the Grove. These are uh, choose one minions. When you play it, it can either deal two damage to any target or silence a minion. Now you can use this to silence, say, like an Acolyte of Pain to stop your opponent from drawing cards. Or if he just has a whole bunch of garbage on the board, you can deal two damage and at least get rid of one of them. We also have Nourish. This is for replenishing your hand, basically. If you get your Innervates and Wild Growths in the early game, you're going to end up playing them along with one of your big creatures, and you're going to run out of cards fast. You can also use this card to gain two Mana Crystals, but I don't think I've ever seen anyone do that. Now you want to use Nourish to draw three cards. We also have one Starfall. This is another area of effect that we can use to clear the board if things get out of control. It deals two damage to all enemy minions, or you can choose to deal five damage to one. Druid of the Claw, one of the best minions in this deck. Uh, very flexible and very effective. When you summon him, you can either choose to summon him as a 4-4 with charge, so he can attack immediately, or he can be summoned with 6 health and taunt. A 6 health creature is pretty difficult to kill, and even if your opponent does manage to kill it, he's probably going to have to use a fireball or a hard removal spell, which means he won't have it for any of the really big stuff we've got later. We've also got one Faceless Manipulator. This is a great card. It can just copy any minion that's on the board. And we have lots of big, scary minions that we would love to have two copies of in this deck. And even if we don't have one on the board, uh, say your opponent plays Dr. Boom, now you've got one too. We also have one Spectral Knight. He's a pretty solid minion, tough to remove because he can't be targeted by spells or hero powers. And if you put a Defender of Argus or a Sun Fury Protector next to him, you have a pretty solid taunt that can't be taken out by a fireball. We also have one Starfire. It deals five damage and draws a card. Emperor Thorson, the MVP of the deck. When this guy's on the board, he reduces the cost of all the cards in your hand by one. With a deck this heavy, full of this many expensive cards, Emperor Thorson is a must. If he goes off for even one turn, the discount could help you win the game. We also have Mech Bear Cat. 
Gotta love that name. He's a big mech minion. Seven attack, six health. Pretty good, tough to remove. Will uh, kill a Boulder Fist Ogre. And every time he takes damage, you get a spare part. Spare parts can be useful, but even without them, uh, a 7 6 for 6 is not a bad deal. We also have Ancient of War, possibly the biggest taunt in the whole game. You can summon him with either 5 attack or plus 5 health and taunt. Summoning a creature with 10 attack and 5 health is insanity. It would die so easily and then you would just have wasted 7 mana. So be smart. Summon him with 10 health and watch your opponent go to the rope in frustration as he tries to figure out what to do. We also have Malorn. This is the legendary druid class minion. He's a 9 attack, 7 health beast. Tough to remove. And even if your opponent does kill him, the death rattle says shuffle this minion into your deck. Which means you might get a chance to play Malorn a second time, a third time, maybe even a fourth time if the game goes on that long. The great thing about Malorn is you play him as soon as you hit turn seven, your opponent wastes a bunch of cards getting rid of him, and then he comes right back. And then finally we have the Volcanic Lumberer. He is a seven attack, eight health creature with taunt and he has the special card text that he costs one less for each minion that died this turn. Now, this is the only card that I'm not 100% on. I haven't played with it that much. Uh, I just got it out of the Black Rock Mountain expansion, so I thought I'd play around with it and see how much value we could get from the old Lumberer here. I'm hoping that I can get off a really good swipe clear a bunch of minions, and then maybe cast this guy for four. Because for nine, he's just too darn expensive. Uh, you can cast the Iron Bark Protector and get an 8-8 eight eight for eight. But you gotta try out new things. And what's the point of buying the expansions if you don't play with the new cards, right? So the rest of the deck is pretty solid. Volcanic Lumberer, we may swap him out for something else later. But uh, let's see what the Rude Druid can do. All right, let's meet our first contestant. A Warlock. If it's Zoo, this could be tough. I must protect Zoo Warlocks tend to just keep putting stuff on the board. Sometimes they can put stuff out faster than we can block it. We'll hang on to the Druid of the Flame just in case, but we're really looking for wild growth and innervate here. That is not great. Hopefully the Druid will stick around long enough for us to put a taunt on her. Yep, it's a zoo. Turn one, Leper Gnome. You know it's a zoo. Alright, well, go ahead and kill this thing so that it only gets four damage on us instead of six or more. Why do you call? Okay, Void Collar. Two Void Collars. Alright. Not too threatening against the Druid of the Flame. Hopefully he won't bother trying to kill this, and then we'll be able to buff it with Mark of the Wild. That sucks. Oh, it's a super zoo. Awesome. Well, let's punish him. Done. 
Now he'll have to trade in both dogs if he wants to kill this thing. Unless he's got a spell. Ah, oh, soul fire. Well, at least we'll still kill one dog. Oh! And it shredded Leroy Jenkins. That's pretty good news. Alright, I think we're just gonna wrath the timber wolf. And then we'll put out the summoner. And uh, hopefully, we'll be able to cast Ancient of War next turn. That should slow him down. Okay, neither of those things are very threatening. Oh man. But now if I play Keeper, it's gonna be a weak turn for me. Alright, I think we put down the Ancient of War in Taunt Mode. And then we kill the cult master so he can't draw more cards. Hopefully this warlock won't be able to come through with just three cards. Although, Lotheb is pretty rough. Alright, yeah, I think we throw down the Spectral Knight here. So, uh, Lotheb is still not going to be able to come through the Ancient. So I think we'll push for a little face damage here. He'll have to trade Lotheb into the Ancient of War. And the Ancient of War will survive. Give me a quest. Ooh. Questing Adventurer. Too bad we got a silence. And a Sun Fury Protect. Oh man, we are gonna have a wall of stuff between this guy and us. Shields up. I think we'll take out the Raid Leader since he buffs all the other minions. And just keep pushing for face. So now we got a wall of three taunts here. Only one of which it looks like he can actually kill this turn. One of them is immune to spells. Yeah, I don't think there's anything he can do here. Oh, do we win? Heal nature's I got this. I think so. For yep. And swipe face. Game over. So there you have it. The rude druid. Rudely putting the warlock in his place. That was so much fun. Let's try again. It's very satisfying to see a warlock just dumping his zoo onto the board and then throwing down a big taunt and watching him just sacrifice all his cards to get through it. Alright, who's our next worthy opponent? Malfuri versus Valera. Alright. Watch. Your back. I must protect the wild. It is super tempting to keep Emperor Thorison. I think turn six is too slow against a rogue. If I have to wait till turn six to make a big play, we'll probably be out of luck. Drew to the Flame did some good work for us last time, so we'll hang on to her. Volcanic Lumber. You know, the more I think about it, the more I think I'm just going to have to cut that card. Nine is just too much. Even if a swipe kills like five enemies, it still costs four. Oh well. We'll just hero power and hit her face first. 
don't want to waste the Sun Fury too early if we don't have to. All he's going to do is dagger up. Is he going to hit? Nope. It's tempting to put down the summoner, but... Let's see, turn four. Yeah, the discount really wouldn't do us any good next turn, so let's stay on curve. Bathe in flame. Play the Druid of the Flame. Job done. And even if she has deadly poison, I don't think she can kill that. Maybe if she backstabs deadly poison. But that would be a lot of cards to kill a not very threatening minion. So even if she does do that, it's we still come out ahead. So many options. Oh, is she gone? Backstab poison. Ha! <laughs> this guy's toast. Oh wow. That's even worse, actually. Yeah, if we play any of these minions, they just die to the SI for free. So then we're just going to play a wild growth here. Hero oh, power wild. face. Hopefully we'll get something worth taunting. Yeah, I think <laughs> the lumber is just a dead card. This board just keeps getting more and more intimidating. Alright, I think we play out the Spectral Knight. It's the only thing we've got that's big enough to threaten his board. Okay, so he's probably gonna ignore it. Yeah, just go face. Okay, it's... Let's see... Two damage to all minions wouldn't help us here. Okay, I think we'll do five... I wonder. ...to the Belcher. And then we'll kill the slime. And taunt the Spectral Knight. So now he's going to have to trade some minions into it. We'll probably just send the Shredder and Dagger. Oh, man. Now he can just trade the SI and finish it with his Dagger. That is not good. Oh, wow. Well you just screwed yourself. My thanks to you. I will come. Yeah. I don't think I even want to make the effort to kill that because wiping the board actually helps me a lot more than it does her. I got this. So I think this turn we just the wild. attack face and wait to see what the fallout brings. It is unfortunate because it gives him the chance to start building the board first. Hopefully he's got a bunch of weak stuff that we can just swipe. 
but uh, so we'll many see. Options. Ha, this guy's toast. Why Emperor here? Let's see if I throw down the Emperor. He reduces the cost hmm, of all this. I wonder. It doesn't really help me that much, especially since we're getting the 10 mana. Swipe doesn't do enough. I think we just throw down the Lumberer and I uh, hope he doesn't have Assassinate. Hopefully this will take care of both his minions. I guess he doesn't have Assassinate, otherwise he would have used it, yeah. He's gonna have to trade in both his minions and hit it with his face. Which is kind of awesome. Uh oh. That's not great. Oh, but this is Play Emperor. And then we stealth him. How great is that? So now we'll get at least two turns out of the Emperor. Probably. Unless I have to use him to kill something else. Mech bear cat? That's the random mech you got? Wow. How unlucky could I possibly be? Will swipe even help anything? Double swipe for hmm. six, but that doesn't really seem to help. Yeah, I think we're going to save the swipes. Um, I think the most threatening play we can make right here is to copy the and then Argus them. For the wild. Job done. Now our cards will be reduced by two. Look at that. That's a cheap hand. Two one mana swipes. I gotta plug in batteries. Whoops. I see you. Oh no, our swipes are gonna cost five mana. Okay, two. Oh, these cost six. Shit. Let's see. That only buffs him to four or five, so he would still die. So that's not worth it. Six. Oh, man. 
I was really hoping I could just silence this guy and then finish him off with double swipe. But that does not seem to be possible. Time waits for no one. All right, we're just gonna swipe with that. The breach. The wild. Really hope he doesn't have seven damage in hand. But if he doesn't kill the summoner, we can mark up the wild, swipe, and then even use the keeper to hit her face. Ah, uh, crap. Ah, I'm one damage short. That sucks. All right. Well, I think we gotta silence this. And yeah, we go ahead and swipe it. Can't take any chances. For the wild. The keeper lives another turn. Maybe he can deliver the finishing blow with a mark of the wild. But all he's going to do is sprint. So hopefully he won't be able to play another threat. Ah, oh, man. This guy is just dragging it out. Need six damage. That's not it. He's got a dag. Ah. All I can do here is hero power. Times like this, you really wish Wrath could hit face. Yeah, if he's got another blade flurry, I'm finished. Even if he has another shiv. Come close and listen. I am ready. Okay, so I pretty much have to kill on this turn, or it's over. Now, wild growth shows up. Thanks. All right, draw me something good. Oh. Oh man, that's what we need. Where shall I strike? Charge. Mark the wild. Welcome. And boom. That's game. So there you have it, folks. The Rude Druid. It's slow, but effective. And uh, if you're thinking of copying my deck list. I would recommend taking out the Volcanic Lumberer. I will be looking for a replacement for it, and I'll let you know if I find something that works better. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe if you enjoyed it, and look forward to the next video from Doc Awesome.